Hi! So, I know I was supposed to make um, a video um, a few days ago uh, describing my encounter in the city, and I forgot, so I decided I will do it now. Um, so basically, it was probably one of the greatest experiences of my life. Um, you know, I've been obsessed with Rob Pattinson since the 8th um, grade, and I am... Um, this was supposed to be my second time, like, meeting him. Um, in the eighth grade, um, me, Maddie Preventure, Francesca, Angie, Lindsay, um, there was a few of us. We uh, all went to the city with mine and Francesca's dads, and we're going to see Rob Pattinson at the New York City Apple Store. And, um... We didn't know you had to have passes to get in, so we drove all that way, and none of us got in. But my dad got in. Um, he's probably the luckiest man alive and literally just walked right into – he walked – the two security big giant guys were standing at the doors, and, like, all of us are waiting outside. And my dad, all of a sudden, I just seem to start leaving. I'm like, Dad, where are you going? Dad, like, he's crossing the street. He's completely ignoring me. And I, we watch him, we're like, what the heck is he doing? He walks straight into the Apple store. Nobody stopped him. Like, the security guards, like, didn't say anything. or Like, it was just so funny. So he got pictures. But, um, basically, um, my friend Alyssa well, knew how much I loved Rob Pattinson. And she had tickets to live with Regis and Kelly, and she gave me them. So I had to wake up at 5 a.m. with my mom, and... We got on the road at about 6.15, and we got to the city at about 7.30. And um, right when we get there, um, Paul McDonald from American Idol was outside with a few group of people taking pictures with people. So I was just like, you know, I don't really even watch American Idol. I was just like, hey, Mom, think I should take a picture with him? And she was like, yeah, why not? So I took a picture with him, and then we got online. And we had to wait online um, outside for a good while, actually. Um... And then when we finally got inside the building, they made us wait again, like, a really long time. Um, but then we finally got in, and we were, me and my mom were, like, one of the last peoples online. But um, we somehow got front row seats, but it was, like, all the way on the end. So whenever the people were on, the cameras were right in front of us. But during commercial breaks, the cameras moved, so we were right in the front, you know, and we were really close to it. It was amazing. But, um... So yeah, Kelly Rip. Well, first Seth Meyers took over for Regis because Regis wasn't in, and I love Seth Meyers. I think he's hysterical. I love him all the time on Saturday Night Live. Um, his skits are like my favorite. The news reporting ones you may have seen him with like Amy Poehler. Um, I think he's hysterical and adorable, and I love him. So I was so happy. Um, so that was the first like great thing that happened, and then um, what you call it? Kelly Ripa was hysterical. Like, every commercial break, she, like, came into the crowd and was, like, talking to all of us and, like, making jokes. She was so cute and, like, honestly, like, I love her. Like, she's one of my favorite, like, celebrities now just because she's adorable. Um, so then we were waiting for Rob to come out and it was a commercial break. And because we were all the way in the end, we were by another door. And I see him and I'm, like, the first person to see him. And I'm like, oh! <gasps> You know, like, everyone's like, oh, like, you know, where is he? But he moved. I just saw him walk by. And um, then he came out, and I I was screaming. Because, you know, with Live with Regis and Kelly, you book the tickets, like, a year in advance. So you don't know who's going to be on the show at that time. So it was mainly adults. Like, there wasn't really any teenage girls. Like, I was the only one, and I was, like, screaming the loudest because, like, you know. Um, so he was – I – um talking and everything and then during a commercial break you may have seen this on my Facebook um I wanted to get his attention so I screamed I love you Rob and he turns around and looks right at me and he smiled and oh my god I have it on video so people cannot even say I'm lying because I have it on video and I put it on my Facebook if you want to watch it I sound like such a faggot in it because I start screaming at the top of my lungs after he looks at me. But, like, I couldn't, like, help it. Like, my whole body was shaking and trembling. My mom was like, Erica, calm down. It's okay. <laughs> I just, I wanted to die. I'm, I'm in love with him. So then after he leaves and, you know, Paul McDonald performed and they did some segments on the show. And it was really cool. 
And then they say to us, if you guys don't mind waiting another half an hour, we want to do a pre-recording segment. So we have another celebrity guest. So now, oh my God, do you hear my dog? Um, Michael Strahan, the New York Giant, comes out, and he's the co-host, and he's hysterical, too. Like, I never knew he was so funny. Him and, like, Kelly are, like, going back and forth, like, entertaining us, and it was so much fun. And then all of a sudden, like, they don't tell us, like, who it is. Like, I'm getting in a fight with the producer because I ask him, like, how Rob Pattinson is. Like, because we were just waiting for the celebrity to come out. And I'm like, how's Rob? And he was like, oh, hold on. Let me go get him. He goes, Rob, come out here. So I start screaming. He goes, haha, just kidding. He left. I was like, oh. <coughs> I just choked. <laughs> okay. And so I'm like, hold on. It's okay. It sounds a lot. There would be nothing in this. Okay, so then... <coughs> he was an evil man. And he was like, yeah, I know. So then we're waiting for the celebrity guest to come out. And, um... Uh... I see, again, in the same doorway that I saw Rob. I see Reese Witherspoon pass. I'm like, Reese Witherspoon! And the guy's like, shh, we don't want anyone to know yet. So then she comes... And I love Reese Witherspoon. Like, not just saying this because of, um... She's in the movie with Rob Pattinson. Like, I literally loved her um, since I saw her in Walk the Line. If you have not ever watched the movie Walk the Line, you seriously should because it is amazing. Um. Okay, so then, so yeah. And then at the end of the show, like, one of the producers gave me um, the cue card that Rob Pattinson touched. It had all of his questions on it and his profile, and he let me keep it, so... It was very exciting, and see, you want to see it? So, um, yeah. It was a really great day, and, like, I literally was, like, bouncing off the walls, like, for a good, like, hour or two after it, and then I just crashed completely, and I was so tired, and I took a nap, and, because, you know, especially with the mono, like, getting up at 5 a.m., not really good for my condition, but... My day was so worth it, and I would do it again and again to see Rob Pattinson because he's beautiful, and I love him, and he smiled at me and now knows who I am. So, yeah. Um, in other news, um, I cannot believe I saw a picture of Rob Pattinson and Kristen Stewart kissing in a car. So they're, like, officially going out, and I'm really upset about it. Um, but one couple that I think is really uh, cute that's... Well, it's not, like, official yet, but um, uh, Ian Summerholder and Nina Dobrev, and I love Ian Summerholder, and um, they're on the show The Vampire Diaries together, and they've been, like, denying that they had anything going on, but there was pictures of them at a recent event a few days ago holding hands, so it seems like they're together, just saying. So, um, yeah, that's the uh, updates with my life, in case you were wondering. Um... Okay, and I know a lot of you keep asking me when I'm coming back to school, and I don't know, but I hope it's soon. This, like, window keeps, like, shining through my head, like, oh my god, look, my hands are gone. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh my god, I'm like, Jesus. Okay, so, oh, shoot. So, yeah, I'm gonna go now, because this video is really long, but, um... Talk to y'all later. Bye.